kind of funny. I sit here and I read my messages. And the young person is telling me that black women can't raise good black men. It's not true. It takes a strill, strill, damn, a real strong black man to raise a black woman. And then in return, the lessons that this woman has learned from this great, fantastic man, she gives to her son to create a better black man. Now listen to the story. If the quality of black man has slipped due to whatever factor, economy, socioeconomic, whatever, if the quality of black man slips, then the quality of the product of the black woman also fails. Because in all reality, young women learn from men. They learn from their man. Or this man, they want to be with the love they want to build. So when these women learn from these men, nothing they then return pass that on to the kid you can't say that black women don't raise good black men or black men are good black men it depends on the men that they had in their life to give the reflection of what a man should be I had to tell somebody last week that a man can't raise a man it takes a woman to raise a man but you have to also think it takes a man to create the woman. That is the human condition to where we need each component to create one unit. In other words, the man builds the perfect woman to take care of the man. And then the woman in then return teaches the offspring how to be loving and passionate like their father. You see what I'm saying? You get the picture? You can't blame black women for not raising black men right. You must blame the influence of black men upon black women. See what I'm saying? So when people say that black men and black women can't get along together because of this or that, it's because the mentality of the black man and the black woman are so similar. We think alike. You know, we've been born to think survival. So all we think is survival. All there is is survival. All there will be is survival. Damn, I'm looking kind of big today. Damn. Mm. I stand up and show you a stomach, you laugh like a... Listen. So, like I said, a good black man will teach an inexperienced black woman the passion, the love, and the feel, and, 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 and the power of, of a together woman. But he has to once show a together man. He has to show that the power in his words transcends in the actions of his everyday life. In other words, if I say I'm a badass, this and that, I got to be bad. But when it comes to my woman and my family, I got to be good. Not only so my son can see the mistakes I make, but so my wife can learn to be a strong, independent woman without me. But to have the keen sense of... Put like this. You have to be able to give your woman all your senses and all of your powers, so to speak. So she can feel you, so you guys can be on the same thought pattern, the same wavelength. If she wants this and that, and you want that, then what's going to happen in the middle? If she has an agenda, and you have an agenda, and they don't work together, what happens in the middle? What happens in the middle is this. Nothing gets done. People argue, people fuss, and people fight. One has to learn from the other to better that person. You have to accentuate and better your woman, and she has to accentuate and better you. Period. In return, the man teaches the woman how to love 
and respect a man. The woman teaches the child how to love and respect a woman to maintain and keep that love and respect. A woman teaches a man to be a man and a man teaches a woman to be a woman and how to love a man. I don't want to keep on having to say this a million times. What's the first thing they tell you? You have to learn your partner. You have to learn the woman. You know, ask her what she needs. The woman always teaches the man. The man in his actions teaches the woman. Who then returns that along with her own love to the young child, male child. So if the woman is constantly saying that man ain't no good, this nigga ain't no good, he ain't shit, but he look good. Break out the BB guns. So, you have to love somebody other than yourself enough to teach them how to love you. Am I talking to people who don't understand me, or do I have to talk about race in order for somebody to understand what is coming out of my mouth? So, to say a black woman cannot raise a good black man is a misnomer. It's a bad statement. You understand the circle of life, the cycle of love. A man has to give love to a woman. Women nurture the children. It's a trickle-down effect. A man can't teach a man to be a man. A man can only discipline a man teach him war, violence, anger, jealousy, deceit, lies, cunning, scandals. A woman teaches a man love, respect, compassion. So to say a black woman can't create a good black man or can't teach a young man to be good is wrong any way you put it it always comes back to the man if you want your woman to be good to you you must be good to her to receive it in return you gotta be respectful in other words if you tell her to screw your friends she's going to screw your friends if you tell her she ain't shit, she's a bitch, she's a hoe. And when somebody else tells her, you are, you can, you will, and it makes you look bad, that's not her being stupid listening to the next man. That's you not being a man and listening to her. Each man learns from his mistakes. Like when I tell young men, the best thing for you to do is try to find an older woman. Find somebody that's going to teach you how to be a man. You know what happens when little two, kid, two kids get together? They get to humping and grinding and playing house. You can't play house with a woman who already has a house. You can't play daddy with somebody who already raising their kids. You can't show a woman with something, anything, if you have nothing. So the best thing for any young man is to meet an older woman. Learn how to be a man and then teach a woman how to love a man. Blah, blah, so on and so forth. But I can only talk to you from my perspective. But never say again that a black woman can't raise a good black man or create a good black man. Because my grandmother's black and I didn't come out that bad. Thank you.